the record. So Gary has now entered the studio. Gary, are we going to do our little chat today right now? Yes, why not, if you want to. Yes, indeed. How are you, Peter? I, you I, said you're hassled. Why are you hassled? <laughs> uh, well, I told, uh, I told Brendan why I was hassled, so uh, probably not go over it again. I was hassled by a telephone operator in a GP surgery. So Because uh, I have to admit, I didn't hear much of your show today, Peter. Uh, I was, oh, I was okay. out shopping, and uh, I was... Uh, what else was I doing? I... Uh, I was sorting out some uh, Paul Davis show for later in oh, right, right. later today. As, as, I, say, as I say in Bel- parts of Belfast, shopping, shopping, yes. shopping, yeah. <laughs> Certain so parts I, of Belfast. So I was. So you were. So you were. Yes. So you were. Yes. Or so I did. <laughs> So, uh, did you buy anything interesting? I oh, was actually... I, it was, well, you see, it was because my, my nephew and niece live uh-huh. in Scotland, and uh, my my parents are heading over tomorrow, so I had to get the presents for Christmas bought now, and with the radio station, uh, everything had sort of slipped down the agenda. It has, doesn't it? Um, I, I was just saying there earlier on that uh, I did play that uh, Robert Palmer song, Addicted to Love, and can you remember the video of that? It was quite a saucy video, was it not? Well, very pleasant, yes, indeed. Uh, I keep watching the video every time it comes on. But the girls in the when back... When the wife but, isn't uh, watching? Well, not necessarily, because, I mean, no one's sort of naked or anything like that, but they're all wearing these sexy, sexy black dresses. And I keep saying to my wife, um, whenever we're out shopping, or shopping, or no, window <laughs> shopping, window shopping, um, I sort of say to her, do you not think that would be nice, Lorna? And she says, no. Uh, no, and and uh, she just refuses point blank. Would Lorna, would Lorna not wear things she, like that? She would not wear things like that. <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to buy her anything for a surprise. And uh, do you th- do you think she would wear it if you actually just went and bought it? Um, no. <laughs> And I keep saying to her, I keep insulting her. But keeps, I, I she keeps worrying about her weight, you see. She says, I'd look like Tontel, Tontel, Tessie. And I keep saying to her, I keep saying to her, well, here, Nora, why don't you go to Evans's and buy one? And she says, that's insulting. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, look, I'm sorry, I'm as bad as you are. I say, I'm heavy as well. I say, I need to lose weight. So uh, she keeps uh, she keeps saying that to me, and uh, she point blankly refuses to wear any of that gear that gear and I say look Lorna it looks good and she says no so uh, she's got her graduation next week and uh, I don't know what she's going to wear but uh, she well, says hopefully it suit me <laughs> hopefully she'll be wearing something anyhow well L- Louise gave me she gave me some advice on what to buy so I mean men are easy to buy with 5-4 I was just saying men are easy to buy digital cameras telephones anything gadgety men like they don't like they don't really appreciate socks maybe as a stocking filler or underpants but um, you it can depends, buy that it depends who's buying you those well that's true of course yes indeed but I, I'm well past that stage Gary I, I don't worry about things like that <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry about things like that when I buy my wife underwear she says to me you're just buying that to please you <laughs> So you just can't win. You just can't win. You're only bad not to please me, please yourself, not to please me. And that's what I get, so I just don't buy clothes. So Louise gave me some useful advice, so uh, I think that's probably a bit... I mean, I, I said to her, do you want to eat digital camera, Lorna? And she said, uh, not really, you know. I said, well, you, you know, you've not got a camera to take pictures of the kids. And she said, no. I said, well, you know, I came up with Louise's suggestion, so she sort of said yes. So I have to get out over the next week or so and uh, try and get her something. So, so Guy, what's coming up in your show today? Uh, on a more sedate note, uh-huh, yes. Um, let's see what's coming up today. We have uh, you've totally put me off here, Peter. We have um, Tom McCarthy from Southampton Community Transport coming in. This is a great service where uh, people in rural areas can be driven to hospital by volunteers, driven to all sorts of things. Peter, you're still laughing. Uh, anyway, and basically they need they need more volunteers for this. Uh, so Tom's coming in, a very, very serious subject, and there's us sniggering away through it. Uh, Tom, uh, yeah, looking forward to Tom coming in. Then around about half three today, if you've ever thought about running your own business, even if it's selling ladies' underwear, I don't know, uh, Helen Keenan has done just that. She set up her own handbag business. Uh, yes. so they've got an exclusive franchise. Uh, she's only done that this year. Her shop actually only opened here in Larne this year. And uh, uh, this week, sorry, I'm totally lost now. <laughs> what am I going to be like after two? So uh-huh. Helen's coming in to talk a wee bit about what she's been through setting up her own business. She's joined by David Gillespie from Leadcom, who runs a lot of these programmes. Plus, your chance to win a trip to Scotland. 
Yes. Courtesy uh, yes, of ourselves and p and Peter, if you looked at how many text messages are coming in here. <laughs> Probably in a day of a text message. This those are not complaints. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So, uh, great music as well, Guy. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think without doubt we'll uh, play the next track. Actually, we were talking about humming yesterday. Yes. My son's, my son's PE gear hums. I meant, <laughs> I meant to phone. I meant to phone the school today and say to them, make sure Michael's PE gear comes in today. And uh, the people, the people that the, the after school's assistant keeps saying to me, those were humming in his bag. <laughs> so I don't know if he's remembered or not. But they're going to be terrible tomorrow when I get them back. <laughs> so the next up, actually, is a song up, which uh, the only song I can think of that does humming. And uh, that'll probably take us up to the news because uh, we've totally run over on again. Lars' new short-term radio station, Chain FM.